Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth part of our bathroom modeling tutorial. So in this one we're going to actually start modeling this uh, little like uh, table you see by the sink. Um, it's very basic so it's going to it's not going to look too impressive in the beginning but later on we're going to add some textures to really look, make it look realistic. Um, so anyways without waiting too long we're going to just jump into it. So I'm going to move this little box right here off to the right side of it. So a quick way to do that is the hot key. So you could enable this move thing and you can drag it along the uh, Y axis, but instead um, we're going to use a hot key. So G is, is the hot key to grab objects. It's like, uh, just think of it literally as grabbing an object and moving it. So if I hit G without hitting anything else, you can see I'm just moving it around, but it isn't locked any axes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit G and then I'm going to hit Y. And you'll notice there's a line now, so we can drag it off to the side, and then we can left click to lock it in. And again, right click is to cancel that. So if I undo it, hit G, and then I hit Y. If I right click, it'll it'll cancel it and move it back to the center. So I'm gonna hit G, Y, move it over, and then left click. So now our little human's off to the side. Um, so first, we need to drop in the base of our table for our scene. So that's going to be pretty easy, so I'm going to deselect everything by hitting Control A just because, and then I'm going to hit Shift A to bring up this Add menu, and then we're just going to make another cube. So this is what our table is going to be based off of. So it's a little too big right now. So since we have the move selected over here, I'm just going to drag it up real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to shift into Edit Mode by hitting Tab again, and now we can actually edit the geometry. So um, just to quickly go over some more of the selectors for the uh, geometry, so you can select by vertice, so I'm going to hit Alt A to get rid of all those selections, so you can select by vertice up here, edge, and faces. So they're all pretty self-explanatory, so vertice, this first one, you can click on the vertices, and then you can hit Shift to add to the selection, so I'm shifting and adding, and if you select all of them, it'll select a face. Um, I'm going to hit Control A again to deselect, and then hit edge. So now if I click on an edge it'll select the edge and again you can hit shift and it'll select all the edges. Um, and then I'm gonna hit Alt A to clear and if you want to select just a face obviously face. It's that simple. Um, and it, let's say you had a ring of edges like a cylinder and you wanted to just quickly select them all. Um, I think you can do this on all three of them but I'm just gonna do edge for now. So with edge select I'm gonna hit Alt A one more time and if you hold down alt and click an edge it will circle select oh didn't circle select oh it must be okay never mind it's because it's not a cylinder just to quickly demo what I was talking about um, hitting tab getting out of edit mode I'm gonna make a cylinder I'm gonna drag it up move it over so you'll see while in edit mode if I hit if I hold down alt and click it'll select that entire ring of edges so that's useful if you have a lot of like loops like that. So I'm going to delete that with X. So selecting our object, going back into edit mode. Um, so we're going to make it look like a table now basically. So I'm going to hit A to select everything, and I'm going to hit S, and then Z, and then I'm just going to shrink that down. That looks, that looks okay. Um, since this doesn't have to be too realistic, I'm not worried about actual measurements. I just did the uh, character so we can get the scene looking realistic. Um, now we're gonna make it look, um, we're gonna basically cut it in half because it doesn't need to be this big. So we're gonna hit S again and then we're gonna hit Y to lock it in the Y and we're gonna shrink it down to about there. So kind of comparing it to our character I think that looks pretty good. Um, we could probably afford to make it a bit thin thinner so we're gonna hit S, C, shrink it down and I'm actually going to add a bit more on the Y again. So shift Y and then I'm going to drag it out a bit. That looks about okay. Okay, so cool. So you can see now we have a uh, little table here going on. So that's neat. Um, so we're going to get this in position. So I'm going to hit tab to get out of it, out of edit mode. Um, and then to kind of get a better perspective on our scene, um, I'm going to hit a numpad button. So you num you can do a lot of things with your numpad keys. There's a lot of binds. So let me just double check. So I think what we want, we're going to want, um, 
this back face. So if we hit an, if we hit um, one on the numpad, it'll shift. You can see over here to the Y. So now everything is on the Y um, like axis, I guess. Um, you can kind of see it's like a side view basically. Um, and then if I hit three, it'll switch to like a front view on the x-axis up here. And then if I hit seven, it'll switch to a top view on the z-axis. And if you don't want to remember all these hotkeys on the numpad, you can actually just come over here and click. So for example, I just clicked them. Um, you can kind of see with the perspective. So if I click here, it'll have us facing this direction. So that's what I want. So I'm going to click this little red dot. And now we're in this direction. Because it's kind of hard to see our objects, even though it's selected, um, I'm going to turn it into wireframe mode, which you can either press do by pressing Z and then coming over to wireframe, or you can come up here and click on this right here. So this is solid. This is wireframe. So there's our object, and you can see the outline of our room. So I want it to be at about waist, at, at about waist level, so I'm going to drag it down a bit. That looks okay. And then I'm going to drag it over to the wall right here. That looks okay. And you don't have to worry about it too much. While holding down shift and then hitting the mouse key, we, or the middle mouse button, we can pan over and we can zoom in. And that looks basically against the wall. So I'm going to press the middle mouse button to move around. Um, I think we should shift it more towards this back wall because um, we can always move the camera closer to the uh, wall. So shift it over a bit, and then we're going to go back into solid view. So you can see the, there's our little table. Now our table needs some legs, so now we're going to add some cylinders for legs. So kind of going back to our reference, you can see these are like cylindrical legs. So I'm going to drag this back over here. So we could um, extrude some legs off here, but to keep the geometry pretty clean, we're just going to fake like a one one connected model by adding cylinders. So, so I'm going to hit Control or Alt A to deselect everything again. I'm going to hit Shift A, and then we're going to add in a cylinder. Now, we're going to want to change the cylinder up. So, without moving it or anything, we're going to come down here to Add Cylinder, and in Add Cylinder in the Add Cylinder menu down here, we can actually change different properties about our new cylinder. So for example, vertices, if I turn this down, you can see our cylinder starts to lose that um, the extra supporting edge loops. So if I turn that down, you can kind of see how, we're, how it, you know, it's affecting how many faces it has on the side. So I'm going to leave this at 16 for now. That's fine. You can click on it and type 16 if you want and hit enter. Um, next, I'm going to change the cap fill to nothing so our cylinder doesn't have anything on the top or on the bottom. You can kind of see. Um, because an end gun is just kind of a mess. It's not really worth um, tinkering with. So, Okay, so now what we're going to do is, now that we tweak these settings, I'm just going to close this real quick. So now when we move the object, you'll notice that menu goes away. So now that's very important to tweak those before you move it. So Now I'm going to scale down this object. So I'm going to hit Tab, and then I'm just going to press S. And I'm not going to lock it in any axis. I'm just going to shrink it down. And because those measurements are kind of getting in the way, I'm going to come back up here to overlay, and then I'm going to turn off um, edge length. And you have to be in edit mode to turn this off, by the way. So you can see there's our tiny little cylinder, um, but obviously we don't want it to be that tiny. It needs to be a leg. So I'm going to hit S, and then I'm going to hit Z, and I'm going to scale it up on the Z so we kind of have this tube shape. Now I'm going to hit uh, Tab to get out of edit mode. And then I'm going to click on this red dot again up here to sh shift into this front view. I'm going to click on wireframe. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And then I'm just going to drag this over. I'm going to drag it down. And that looks pretty well lined up on this side. And now if we move over, we see it's still not quite there yet. So we're going to click on the screen dot to change uh, views. And we're going to drag it over. That looks good. And now you'll see it's lined up. So if we hit Z and then shift over into solid view, you can see our table leg is right there. I'm actually going to move it over just a little bit more. So that looks good. Um, one thing you'll notice that it has like these, uh, you can actually see like the roughness of it since it's very low poly. Um, but that's easy to fix. Um, I'm trying to think if... Hmm, I guess it's fine if it's sticking through the bottom. Um, sometimes in 3D things look 
weird outside of the camera. So it's okay that we actually have these uh, faces going in and out. Um, if we wanted to fine tune it for like a video game, you could do certain things like connecting the meshes and stuff, but we're not going to worry about that too much for right now. So before I duplicate this to add the other leg, I'm going to come up here to object and making sure just this object is selected, I'm going to click object and then I'm going to come down to shade smooth. And when I click this, you'll notice all those faces are now, it looks smooth. Um, we still have the same amount of geometry. If I go into edit mode, you can still see all those faces. But what it does is it averages the uh, like reflection across all the faces. So it looks like a smooth object, even though it's pretty low poly still. So that's cool. Um, now, sorry, I was just making sure I knew where the duplicate button was. So now what we can do is we can, we can come down here to get a better view on it. Um, and if you can't see through your box like I am right now, remember you can come up here to uh, overlay. Uh, sorry, not overlay. Was it? Yeah, shading over here, and you can turn on back face culling. See if I turn that off, you can't see it. But if you turn that on, um, and see through the wall. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on cylinder right here on the cylinder, and then we're going to hit Shift D. And what that'll do is it'll keep create a duplicate. Now before doing anything, I'm going to make sure to right click. So it, it still created the duplicate, but it's on top of the thing we just duplicated. So if we grab it and move it, um, we can see that now there's two of them. So see how we kind of have this uh, legs for our table? So that looks great. Um, how much time are we at? We're at 11 minutes. We can go a little bit longer. So um, now I'm going to make uh, these shelves right here. See these like cool looking shelves? Um, so those are going to be pretty easy. Those are basically just boxes with a few um, things added onto it. So I'm going to hit Alt-A to deselect everything again. Um, now I'm going to hit Shift-A to add another object. And then I'm going to go to Cube. So now we have another cube here. And then again we're going to hit Tab to go into edit mode, S to scale it down, and then I'm going to move it up a bit. So I'm going to hit Tab to get out of edit mode, move it up. There it is, and I'm going to go back into edit mode. Um, actually, our scene's getting a little clustered, so to hide everything that we don't want, um, we can just, we're going to hit Alt-A real quick to deselect again, click on this big box that's our room, and we're just going to press H on the keyboard. And now that is hidden from our scene, so it's easier to see things. Uh, same thing with this box right here, we're going to hit H. And if you ever want to get these things back, you can hit Alt-H and it'll bring them all back, or you can come up here and re- um, make these things visible by clicking on them like this on the eye icon. So I'm going to hit get rid of this thing again by hitting H. I'm going to hit box select over here, click and drag. I'm going to hit period on my num on my uh, numpad, and then we're going to refocus. And actually, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to hit Alt A to deselect everything again. Click on the box with our mouse, and then we're going to hit G X, and then slide it over. So if we look again at these boxes real quick, you can see that they are, you know, they're a bit more rectangular shaped. So we're going to take this box right here. We're going to hit uh, edit or hit tab to go into edit mode. And then we're going to hit S and then Z to kind of shrink it in the Z axis a bit. Um, and then we're going to hit S X to make it more rectangular. I think that's looking pretty good. Let's get it into place to get a better feel for it. So tab to get out of edit mode. Um, I'll turn on the arrows again for you people who haven't learned the hotkeys quite yet. I'm just going to drag it over here. Um, I'm going to click on this little dot right here to switch into this view. I'm going to pull it down, slide it over. I think we're going to make sure it's not touching the legs. And it needs to be pulled out a bit, so we're going to shift it out. And that looks pretty good. It's okay that it's clipping in the top because, again, we can't see it from the camera, so it doesn't really matter. So um, now that we have this box in place, in the next video we're actually going to start adding like the handles to pull it open and such. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have learned some things. Um, and in the next one we're going to keep adding stuff. So please stick with these tutorials because even if they're tough on you, it's very good to learn them because it's just a lot of fun with Blender. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.